The federal government's $1.7 trillion omnibus spending bill has been passed by the Senate. It was 4,500 plus pages, and senior columnist Rick Newman has tons of time on his hands. So he read every single bit and has the details for us. Rick, what's in it? Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to be uh, publishing a 15,000 word Yahoo Finance article on everything there. Everybody wait. wants that. Uh, this basically ended up going as expected. We had a little hiccup. Uh, over this immigration provision, which ended up not being part of the bill, that did not derail the bill. But uh, th this went as about as expected this week. So um, out of that $1.7 trillion, $858 billion for defense, we're soon going to have uh, Pentagon budgets of a trillion dollars or more. Uh, in addition to that, another $45 billion uh, in uh, military and civil aid to Ukraine. That's really important. Uh, Congress actually provided more for Ukraine than uh, President Biden asked for. He only asked for $38 billion. Um, so they gave more, and that will last through much of next year. Um, and the rest of the money just basically runs the government. There are a couple things not in there. They did not deal with the debt ceiling, which means we could have a political showdown over raising the federal borrowing limit next year. Also, the Safe Banking Act for cannabis uh, companies not in there. And that is probably not going to happen during the next two years because Republicans don't like that. They'll control the House. So that could be off until 2025. Uh, but we don't have to worry about the government shutting down uh, this year. Everybody can go home for Christmas and not worry about it. All right. It's a holiday holiday week and we got some low volume in the markets and we got to talk Trump. Of course, the IRS's audits of Donald Trump's tax returns, they are delayed. And this is raising some serious concerns on how the former president has escaped scrutiny here once again. Yeah, uh, you, you know, the headlines on Trump are, are kind of falling lower on the front page these days, but this is fascinating. Uh, so uh, uh, Congress has finally gotten six years worth of Trump's tax returns. They have not published the full returns yet, but they've published some summary information. Uh, and um, it, it's enough to tell you that Trump's tax, ret tax returns are a modern marvel. Um, so what I've been able to tell from these returns is if you add up his income for those six years, uh, he made $147 million in income from 2015 through the end of 2020. I mean, I would take it. But at the same time, Trump declared $221 million of losses. Um, so if you net it all out for that six-year period, um, he lost $52 million on net, or, or that adds up to about $8.2 million in losses per year. So is, is Trump actually losing $8.2 million per year. Um, we, won't, we won't know for sure until we see the full returns, but tax experts say absolutely not. This is um, Trump's time-tested practice of finding uh, all kinds of business losses and other types of losses um, that he can use to offset his real income. And as a result, his tax payments are paltry. Uh, there are a couple of years, one year he paid nothing, a couple of years he paid only $750. Uh, and his total tax income tax payments at the federal level for that period of time were uh, only about one and a half million dollars. So, um, you know, somehow Trump earns nine figures uh, over this period of time and he only pays one point six million dollars in taxes. We're going to soon find out a little bit more about how in the world he pulls that off. Well, don't hate the player, hate the game. Close the loopholes, man. Um, one of the biggest problems here is the IRS didn't properly audit him. Is that correct? Right. Uh, so it is IRS policy, but it is not federal law to audit uh, the president's taxes. Every year the president is in office and uh, it is now clear that the IRS did not complete an audit of Trump's taxes for any given year um, while he was uh, president. Now, the obvious question is, did Trump lean on the IRS and make sure that didn't happen? Uh, that might be a good guess. And I think we'll learn more about that in coming weeks. And Dave, just before when you said, uh, you know, blame the game, not the player, that is a huge question here. So um, what we're going to learn more about is whether, uh, I mean, you, you know, people who own businesses are allowed to uh, take business losses over the course of many years to offset their income. The question is, did Trump inflate or even invent business losses, um, in other words, cheat? And up till now, there has been substantial evidence that he certainly inflated losses and may, may have gone further than that. So... We are soon going to get some answers to this question of, um, is Trump a tax cheat or is he just extremely clever? Yes, and, and some answers that the American people desperately need if, in fact, he's going to run for president again, we hope, huh? That, that we get answers, not the latter. We won't address that. Rick Newman, good to see you.